And just a reminder again, ladies and gentlemen, as you're watching the battle unfold before you, you will see some staff going about with their support, support buckets. If you didn't give before, you know you've seen a bit more of a show now. Maybe it's worth it. I'd also like to take this time while we all have your captive to uh, also thank the sponsors for this uh, engagement. Turks for Lumber, which supplied lumber that you will see momentarily used in siege ladders to storm over the walls. The mill, which provided the uh, lovely debris that flew into the air from our pyrotechnics. Split rock firewood, which provided the wood for, that we needed to cook the meals this whole weekend. Canadian Portables for obvious reasons, and McDonald's for giving us a hand with the breakfast for the reenactors. Those British forces, they're now pushing forward and closer and closer to their destination of storming the wall to the port. The American skirmishers are giving up without a fight, but those skirmishers can't stand up to the murderous volleys that are being poured upon them. These muskets are inaccurate and unreliable, but when used in those large volleys, they are deadly up to 250, even 300 yards away. Spread out as skirmishers, your effectiveness is extremely limited. What? You're both really Get that, where did you guys go? They were down below into the port, they went to the port. Excellent volleys from the British there, softening up the American positions. I never saw those people. Did you see those soldiers over there? Yeah. I never saw them until we Oh, they're talking. Now the British are pushing forward, moving closer and closer to the objective. Any moment now, the order to charge is going to be given, and they are going to just let loose. Oh no.
he got over the wall. Lieutenant Colonel Drummond attempted to lead a charge into the fort. It was during this charge that he was shot down. The story goes that his body was bayoneted, and later, when inspected, they found it appears the orders that was in his coat underlying, under, uh, under, underlining the word bayonet. The phrase free use of the bayonet is encouraged. Yeah. <laughs> now, while the British were able to get inside of the bastion in most instances, this would lead to the fall of a fort. The building of the earthen wall in the center of the fort produced some problems, but it created a bottleneck. The British were unable to force their way into the fort with enough men, but on the other hand, the Americans were unable to force enough men into the bastion to push the British out. A brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat seesawed back and forth for almost 30 minutes, at which point one account says the bodies outside of the building outside the bastion were three to four feet. Oh, 